Hi, I'm Shruti Rao, co-founder at Vendia, and let's talk about data monetization. If your company generates lots and lots of data, but you're frustrated by missed opportunities due to siloed data or struggle to extract real value out of all the data your company generates, you are not alone. Data monetization can be the answer, but the landscape is complex, so let's talk about it. Let's start with this. Accenture Research estimates that by 2020, over 1 million organizations worldwide will monetize their data assets. That's more than $3.6 trillion in value. There are three reasons why we're seeing the rise of data monetization. First one is operating companies are collecting, storing, and producing just a lot more data. This is due to the emergence of IoT or digital transformation, because we've all heard this, data is a new oil. The second one, is that they are using this new oil to make data-driven decisions within the company. Just like raw oil needs refining, companies are analyzing the data they're collecting and extracting crucial insights. These insights are then shared with public in the form of S1 or quarterly reports or industry or analyst reports and so on. So the market as a whole benefits from this data that the particular company is generating and using within their company. The third one is emergence of non-traditional data buyers. Think of traditional data buyers. They were hedge funds that needed lots and lots of data to crunch through to make precise decisions on which market to invest in or which market to invest out of. However, since 2022, non-traditional data buyers have become very prevalent due to the availability of exact contextual data from so many operating companies. And because co-pilots have become commoditized, they can run on any kind of data now. How does a two-sided data marketplace even begin to form? Let's take Seattle Airport as an example. They struggle to accurately predict how many TSA staff they need at any given time. Overstaffing wastes money, but understaffing leads to delays. Normally, you would resort to pulling historical information, maybe from last year or so, creating predictions based on, on that. However, the answer is much closer than we think. Turns out the airlines, say Delta Airlines or Alaska, already collect data that SeaTac Airport desperately needs. They collect two types of information. One, how full their flights to Seattle are, and two, whether those flights are on time or delayed. SeaTac Airport realizes that this data is worth buying. The airlines realize that they have this extra revenue stream by selling this previously unused data. Ultimately, it's a win-win. SeaTac gets better staffing predictions, thereby improving passenger experience, and airlines ungate a new revenue line without changing their core business, which is really selling seats. Voila, a two-sided marketplace is formed. You may be wondering, why do I keep seeing data monetization all over my LinkedIn feed? What are the key factors leading to the surge in popularity of data monetization? Well, there are three big ones. The first one is data explosion. Companies are generating unprecedented amounts of data as a byproduct of their core business operations. Second one is tech modernization. New tech companies and new technology makes it easier to collect and organize data. This generated data in turn drives better, precise, contextual data sets. This cycle has opened doors to collaboration, giving rise to data marketplaces, production, productionization of the data, and entirely new forms of data different commerce. The third fun is really data democratization. Insights extracted from this data used to be only shared publicly once in a while. Analyst reports, uh, S1 reports, so on. But now, companies can curate and disseminate this data in many different ways. Through marketplaces, open listings, selling them to aggregators, which enables non-traditional data buyers to easily request and access highly contextual and relevant data for their own decision making. So more data is being produced, that is being curated on usable data products, and now we have ways to democratize that data which is leading to the popularity of data monetization. Want to learn more about data monetization? You can download our ebook. Check out our website, www.vendia.com.
and stay tuned for more content.